Seven day police custody has been granted for key accused Lalit Jha in the parliament security breach matter. Delhi police was insisting on 15 days. However, the Delhi's, Delhi's Patiala House Court has granted seven days custody. Lalit allegedly destroyed the phones of the accused in this case, and this is what he did when he went to Rajasthan, is what we know. The court has now, in fact, allowed the Delhi police to have custody of Lalit Jha for seven days, like the other accused in this case. In fact, the others also, the other accused in this case, have been granted seven days police custody. This time, as far as Lalit Jha is now being seen as a key conspirator and all of this is concerned, he too is going to be in police custody for seven days. Trishti has more details on that story reporting from inside the Delhi, inside Delhi's Patiala House Court. Essentially, Shristi, seven days for all the accused in this case, though the police in the case of Lalit was pushing for 15 days. Well, yes, definitely, Sneha. As we know, the Delhi Police Special fell yesterday also when the other four accused in the case were produced before the court yesterday evening had sought for 15 days custody of all the four accused. Today also, the court, uh, the uh, public prosecutor appearing for the special cell pushed for 15 days custody. However, the court has only granted seven days police custody to the special cell, which means that they can investigate him, question him for seven days, and after that, he will have to be produced before the court again. Now, uh, uh, coming to the grounds that they have uh, told the court as to why they need him in their custody. The Delhi Police Special Cell has said that they need to recover the phones which were used by Lalit because it is only through the phones that they can uh, find out uh, which person, uh, the other people who were uh, involved in this uh, matter and also who was giving them the instructions. They have said that they want to unearth the larger conspiracy in this particular case, which is why they need him to be in custody. Uh, they informed the court that after his formal arrest was made last night, he was interrogated for several hours during which Lalit has in fact uh, uh, told uh, the police about the motive uh, as to why all of this was done. However, the public prosecutor did not reveal the motive uh, in the open court, saying that the same cannot be read out uh, in the open court hearing. But they definitely know the motive uh, behind uh, this entire uh, the issue, the security breach that was conducted by all these people in, uh, in conspiracy with each other. Uh, they've uh, One big statement, however, from the public prosecutor was that uh, after his interrogation that was conducted for a few hours, it has been revealed that he is, in fact, the mastermind of this entire case. Uh, uh, they, uh, similar statements yesterday were also made by the prosecution before the court where they said that, uh, you know, it's clear the pamphlets that have uh, that they uh, recovered from these accused that they were carrying when they went to the parliament uh, uh, re uh, revealed some surprising details because some serious remarks were made against the prime minister when he was shown as a missing person, uh, telling the court this, the public prosecutor had said that this shows what these people were in fact trying to do. They, in uh, uh, sections of UAPA, which is the anti-terror law, one of the most stringent laws of the country have been invoked against them. Uh, the Delhi Police Special Cell uh, told court that the activity that has been done by these accused, in fact, uh, does fall under the category of a terrorist act, a major security breach, and they have called it a well-planned attack uh, against the uh, parliament. Uh, it is important also to note that this entire incident did, in fact, take place on the anniversary of the 2001 uh, parliament attack. As of now, all the accused are in seven-day custody of the Delhi Police Special Cell. The Delhi Police Special Cell will be taking them to different locations because, remember, not only are all the accused from yes. different uh, states, mm -hmm. different parts of the country, the, uh, the uh, products that were used by them, including the smoke canisters, the shoes that they used to hide those canisters, etc., okay. were all brought from different states of the country. And the Special Cell needs to take these accused to all those places and go further in that investigation.